What you doing today? Same car. <laughs> what time is it? Nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. A lot of people wonder if you ever sleep. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, yeah. You got a nice haircut though, by the way. I finally did, yeah. Yeah. I finally saw that last video and I thought, I better do something. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got that side over there. I'm kind of happy with that side. When you get a tiny little flaw and you end up with a two foot piece, you know? Yeah. So you can't yeah, you it. gotta spread it out, make it wide. Yeah. Uh, so you just sanding bad spots now? Well, I'm just kind of concentrating on these two bad fenders right here because this is where they laid them in. Right. There and in here. So I'm pretty much. I, I don't know. I just cover up the lead because once you jerk the paint off of it then they had primer fill on the over the lead you know so once you get that off there then you got to start all over again so can we call this a lead sled it's a lead sled <laughs> they, all cars up until just a few years ago had lead in them they all had a little patch of lead right in here on the each side of the trunk huh. and some different spots here and there i don't know when they quit using lead been a while but well i'm waiting till my oil pan gets in and i can get my engine put together and set it back down in that hole see how it's going to work i got to get the transmission back before i get right. that i guess but i want to get this primer across the top again because i think i'm pretty close front fenders everything above the chrome all the way around the car is pretty good right and then are you going to prime the top and get all the top done and ready before you put it over there on the lift to get the bottom? Yeah. Hey, you got your rocker panels in. Well, it's temporary, but it's pretty good. This one will be a little better. This is the one I made. Oh, the one you made? Okay, so that one I just showed was the original one? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the one still you got made. clamps down on the bottom of it. Yeah. Look at that rocker panel. Who's holding those things? Yeah, I just got a couple of screws holding it in there. Oh, yeah, I see them. Yeah, picture of them there. Yeah, looks good. But I'm tired of laying on the floor. I'm going to wait until I get it on the lift to finish anything below the chrome. I can set this up here where I can reach it. I don't have to bend over and I don't have to reach it. Right. Yep. I mean, I'm a long ways. I'm a long ways off, you know. Because this, this is always the easiest part up around the top. Mm -hmm. This is the sides is what catches all the dips and scratches. And, well, you would think this would give you a workout, you know? Mm -hmm. Does it? Does it? Yeah, I guess it does. It takes forever. Because we got... This is a different... This is a finishing body filler on it now. Putting a regular body filler in it. Mm -hmm. And then he put this white... Real white filler over it. And uh, it sands easy, but you're using real fine sandpaper too. So. so when I was little, I can remember two different things. One of them <laughs> was a grate that made like spaghetti strings, right, yes. you know, yes. and I would play in that. And I can remember getting all this powder together, me yes. and my sister Shelly getting all the powder together. And Gluing it up. And yeah, we would re-wet it. And... Yeah. It was fun. It, you know, it's still fun to do this. Doesn't mean you don't get tired, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, this yeah. right this right here would have been a treasure. Oh, look at that. We just found yeah, a big yeah. pile. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, there's definitely an art to it. Very little hand sanding. Just about everything you do is with a block, you know big block a little block but the way these fenders roll this big block is perfect for it just got a nice mm -hmm. roll on it you know yeah and I'm, i'll probably have to do this one more time here i'm happy with that one over there i'm not with this one yet yeah let's see how this is right just feel that danny the hill right there Feel how much thicker that is right yep, there. Yep, I feel it starting right lay, here. You gotta lay your hand on it so you can feel it. You know, your finger won't yep. tell you how I off. feel it. Yep, right there. Right okay. there. So right here is a heavy spot. 
If you close so your you eyes. You have to look away when yeah. you're rubbing. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not I really, feel really right good here at, too. Yeah. I'm not good at feeling that stuff. I have to. What I'll do is, I will put this yellow primer on here really heavy the next trip, and then I'll paint black over that. And then when you board file it, when the black comes off, you're straight. You know what I mean? Right. You know, the black paint will show you every little scratch or deformity in it. So I'm not, I'm not near at that point yet. I'd say in an hour or so though, I'll be putting some primer on this board. See? I watch this line across here that this is making. Watch when I come across here. See that line yeah. starting to come? Yeah. You watch it all the way along there. Watch that line. Sometimes you'll, you'll see that it's not hitting somewhere mm -hmm. or that you're getting a good bite all the way across. See, I'm not getting anything back here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me show that. Yeah, I see that. See here? Uh-huh. Even though I'm using the... This is holding me up from here. this. Yeah. Is that because that? there's less to sand down there? Or? No, because this is higher than oh. this is. And I'm just kind of scrubbing over the top of this and, and sanding this. So every once in a while, you get all that stuff off of there. And then you start your little line again. I start it from clear up here. See how it's mm -hmm. lighter there? And Now, see, we're, we're getting farther back, but we're still not back to here yet. That means this is still higher than this is. Mm-hmm. So you just keep working that until you get it all even? Yep. Hmm. Who taught you how to do all this? Me. <laughs> just trial and error? Yeah. Well... My grand, my father, father-in-law, was a fantastic body man, and I'd go help him and watch him. He wasn't a teacher, right? But he was good. Now he was, was he? Fast. He was my mom's dad, and yes. he was Cherokee Indian. Yes, he was, and he was good. He was a good body man, and but I mean, I liked doing it long before I knew him you know what i mean right but boy, yeah you started when you were a kid but we hit it off right away because we both like to do this kind of stuff you know mm -hmm. but he never ever had a car of his own oh no an old car never did he was just a body man he he did that for a living he, he did it for a living in a shop and he did it at home when he come home in his garage I can remember driving you home yep. from painting cars there back oh, yeah. in the day when the paint fumes made you loopy. <laughs> I think I was 13. Probably. Probably, yeah. Uh, I knew how to drive by then, though. Yeah, I've been driven home a few times after painting. Especially back in the old enamel days. Yeah. In the old enamel days, man, it would make you silly as can be. I mean, it I can remember staying outside of Grandpa's garage while you guys would be out there painting, uh -huh. bored to tears. I can remember they had a little dog. I played with their dog all day, but boy, when you were done, it was worth the wait. <laughs> I got to drive home all the way. Yeah, this will be so much fun to drive because this is a—it's a big car. It's a comfortable car. You can sit back and drive it like a like like a brand new car, and with a 351 in it and an automatic. Yeah, it's got a nine-inch rear end, and it. it will be just like a brand-new car. It'll have disc brakes all around. Think you'll be driving one someday? Probably, yeah. uh, Probably will. But you're going to have to fix one up to drive it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you got to be a part of the build. You know what? If you build it, you won't tear it up. That's right. <laughs> if you build it... If you do it, all that work, you will guard that boy yeah yep. that's when you park clear to the other end of the parking lot yeah uh-huh because yeah. you know how hard it is to fix it yeah <laughs> you don't want door dings so you park where no one else will ding you all right, all right. very good we'll see you in a little bit okay. all right